What is going on gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight yet again and yet again. We are back on Russian Fishing 4. Let's have some fun. So, as you can see, it's getting to be nighttime. Just as a disclosure statement, this is not a tutorial or anything. This is just kind of just the regular everyday episode. If you look in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, we are level 14. This is the alternate account that we were using when we first started doing uh, Russian Fishing 4 videos. Uh, I believe the two that I was did that I did before with this account is uh, one was the trophy fishing in Mosquito Lake, and the other one was a great spinning setup for Winding Rivulet. Hopefully you guys enjoyed those, but I haven't touched this account really, except for to kind of show you guys in the different skill trees, like when different skills open, okay? And I figured, you know what, I kind of just want to play this a little, a little bit. Um, the last time that we left off, we were actually at the light. Uh, no, we were at, where were we? We were at Mosquito Lake and we were doing the trophy movie or video. Uh, basically, when I left there, when I did that video, I was level 11. At level 12, you open up Belaya and you open up Old Burke. Now, I hit level 12. I finished that video. I hit level 12 and I came directly out to Belaya River. Now, as you can see, for some reason, the fish are not biting right now. Um, I just barely got here, just to let you know. But I came out here immediately after I hit 12. I took the setup that we had in the video for uh, Winding Rivulet, and I, I haven't changed anything. I just brought that setup out here, just like I told you guys on Winding Rivulet that you could do. And all I've been doing is just fishing out here. We are level 14 right now, as you can see, and... I've gotten two full levels while just sitting at Belaya. I've completely basically skipped over. Do we have another lure? Let's see if we can try the Aquilas. We've basically skipped over uh, Oldberg completely. Now what I want to do in this video is I want to talk about kind of the trap that people get when it comes down to Oldberg. They get into a trap and I think they kind of trap themselves there and um, it's a bottleneck for them and they make it a bottleneck on their own terms. So I wanna talk about that for a minute, but we need to start updating this account a little bit and I need to make some changes on reels and rods. So at level 16, we're going to be able to go to Quarry Lake, okay? Now this is gonna be really cool because then I can go start trolling and everything else, but I have literally completely skipped over Olberg. With Mosquito Lake and Winding Rivulet, I did that half an hour video on Mosquito Lake, and that was it. The trophy video, and that was it. The rest of the time, I've just been spinning on Winding Rivulet. I got up to level 12, and I completely skipped over, basically, Oldberg. I haven't gone there yet, and I've come to Belaya River. So, it is possible for you guys to skip over Oldberg, and you can kind of... I don't know. I'm not complaining about Oldberg. That's the thing. I'm not complaining about Oldberg whatsoever. I like Oldberg. I think it's a great place to go fish and everything else. But the fact of the matter is, is I think people trap themselves at Oldberg and they end up spending way too much time there. They end up getting up to like level 22 and then they never actually leave until around level 22 when they can actually, I think they can even go into Volkov or something around that level. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to talk about skipping over Oldberg completely um, and kind of just doing this the Belaya River thing. But I wanted to hit level 15 with you guys on the video, but I need to start changing the gear out. I have caught multiple asps with the Express Fishing Spark, and I have gone through four different reels. They're only nine silver out here, so I don't even leave. I just buy a new reel. I throw the old one away when it hits 15%, and then I just buy a new reel. And usually if you're hitting like a two kilogram or above um, asp, then you're going to be destroying that reel. And it's only nine silver to replace. That asp is going to make up that money and then some. So you're going to be completely fine. But for some reason, I am not sure why 
We are not getting any bites. Well, I, I just barely got here. I haven't fished here in quite a while, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. But I need to make a decision on what to do. Now, I could go buy a couple of, you know, starter feeder kits, and I could jump over to Olberg and start fishing there for Bream if I wanted to. But I don't see the reason really to do that. So what I could do is I was trying to make a decision on what to do. The first thing I could do is I can go into the kits... And I could buy, I have 730 or 732 silver that I have made out here going from level 12 to level 14. What I could do is I could purchase a spinning light, not start, pro. Spinning light pro. I absolutely love this kit. It is one that I've used on my other account, but I didn't buy it until later levels. I could throw all this money away, purchase this, and this would make it so I could pull in fish a lot faster making more silver per hour. However, I'm going to be dumping all of that money into it and I have to make that money up. Or I could go in and put my money where my mouth is. I did a video a while ago on spin fishing at Balaya River and the, the rod that I, or the reel that I suggested was the Sputnik Element 2000. It is out of stock here, so I'll have to leave and purchase it and come back, but it's around 249 silver. Four kilograms, this kind of replaces the old vintage Yatka that you get for free. If I wanted, I could probably do the Lacerti as well. But I don't, like, you can't really do the Lacerti with the rods because it's too too high of a model. So that's why you would do a Sputnik Element 2000, which I can actually use on this rod right here. See, so see, it says only following real sizes, 1,000, 2,000. Or... <laughs> I could jump over and do the Sputnik Element Pro 4K, 4 kilograms. This is a three star. This is, I love this reel to absolute death. And it's only 329. But if I'm going to do this, I might as well do the kit as well. Right? Right. So I'm thinking about doing the element, but it's out of stock. So I'm going to have to go somewhere else to get it. But basically, what I'm thinking of is doing this. When you go for Quarry Lake, I just barely did a video that I put out before this one showing what gear you can use here. And I suggested the Sabre 60 or the Pulsar as their reels. So I was thinking i will just completely skip over Oldberg and just stay at Malaya and then maybe purchase the element or purchase the kit that I'm talking about and either purchase the Sabre or the Pulsar. Now the Pulsar is only a hundred silver more than the Sabre. I like the Pulsars better mainly because of the kilogram weight of line that you can use on them. You can use up to a 21 kilogram weighted line on the Pulsars. But with the Sabres you can only go up to about 19 kilograms. But I'm thinking about on this account, this alternate account, hey, you know what? Maybe we should just do things a little bit differently, do the things I haven't done. I have not bought a Sabre 60 yet. So I'm thinking about just saving up for the Sabre 60. I believe it's like 1,200 here. Um, and just fishing here until I get enough money to get the Sabre 60. And then going for a cheap rod, uh, a cheap spinning rod. No, nope. let's go to spinning and getting the express fishing heavy which is 272 so as soon as i hit level 50 level 16 then i can have hopefully those both purchased and i can go up to quarry lake and just start using one rod one or one reel one rod and just start fishing up there and start trolling up there so i'm thinking i'm going to go go ahead and do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bounce out of here i'm going to hit and i'm going to get this reel the Sputnik Element 2000, and we're gonna try using this out here today. We're gonna to fish a little bit, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about Oldberg. Hopefully the reel is in stock here. I believe it should be. Spinning reels, Sputnik Element, it is in stock, 249. This will save us 483 uh, silver, basically, but it's not gonna be completely 483 because my line is starting to get a little bit frayed. I'm going to switch from a 3.5 kilogram up to a five kilogram. That way I can use it longer and utilize it longer. That means the same thing, use longer and utilizes the same thing. So I'm gonna buy another one of those and I'm gonna go ahead and set us up. Uh, where am I? Uh, one V 
And I'm going to go ahead and switch this 3.5 to a 5 kilogram now. Yes, I realize it's way above my load capacity for this, but the fishing Corona is cheap. I can buy another one, no problem. And I'm thinking about going up a little bit higher on my carbon leader, my floral carbon leader. So let's go ahead and go up to our leaders. Leader, no. Mm, classic leaders. And then where is the floral carbon? These are out of stock. Awesome really don't like the whole out of stock thing oh great that's just wonderful all right let's jump over to mosquito lake well unfortunately guess what yep the leaders were out down there too so i, I guess i'm going to be forced to purchase one out here i could go to oldberg if i wanted to i really hope that there's at least the bigger leaders out here i have a feeling there's not going to be nope 5.4 6.4 is the one that I want, but because this is floral carbon, because it's slightly bigger, I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. Eight silver. That's as much as a spark. That sucks, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and we'll stick with that. And then we'll switch this over to the 5.4 floral carbon leader. Now we've got a little bit more safety net when it comes down to actually um, fishing for anything that might possibly catch a pike. Now I just need to freaking figure out where the heck the fish are out here and why they're not actually biting because this is very, very, very rare for me. So I'm going to, I'm going to, before I actually start talking about like Oldberg and skipping over Oldberg and everything, I kind of want to just find where the fish are. So I'm going to take a minute and see where I can actually start catching them, see what speed I can catch them at, um, what retrieval speed, what techniques are working, and what actually is catching right now, if anything at all. This might be a completely busted video. Uh, and then we'll be back in a second. I just wanted to kind of show you guys how I'm switching out and kind of upgrading my gear just a little bit at a time. Not doing huge amounts of money, especially when you're low level and you just need to do a couple of things, what you kind of want to focus on. So I'm going to look for the fish, maybe wait till morning, and we'll see... Uh, There's a chubby. Hello, chubby. So as you can see, spin fishing, 27.7. Now, if I go into my skills, my bottom fishing is at 19. And you guys basically saw me get to the 19% on that video, trophy fishing at Mosquito Lake. So yeah, you can tell that I've been spin fishing quite a bit more. All right, so let me find out where the fish are, and then I'll be right back. I just realized something. There's a reason that I started this video and tried to have you guys with me the whole time. And that is I want you guys to see me Dean. So I've caught a grayling, a couple of chubs out of here, and I'm getting close to actually leveling. So I might as well just start talking and hopefully we can find the fish. On top of that, because we're using a new reel, I forgot to turn up the, uh, yeah. Oh, nope, I'm still using my spark. I need to switch this over. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I'm still using my spark. I'm scatterbrained tonight. I just jumped on and I was like, oh, I want to do a video. Let's go ahead and do a video. Uh, okay, so let's talk about Olberg a little bit. So the trap that I'm talking about when you're going into Olberg, I think what happens is people get in there and just like, okay, well, I've just got here. I need to, how much line do we have on this? We have 200 meters at five kilograms. That's actually pretty decent. What would we have? If we got a 3.5, 310 meters, that's actually better just because it's a lot more line, but this has a lot more stopping power now. So we'll go ahead and keep trying with this. Uh, what people I think get into with Olberg is they get in there and they say, oh, well, I've got three feeder rods that I was using over at Mosquito Lake and they're only the starter rods because you know, they're the starter kits, the four kilogram one. So what do I do over at Olberg? Well, mostly people are going to tell you right off the bat what you want to do is you want to you want to fish for bream and with the bream it's actually really nice because you can easily use up to a four kilogram um let's go down here you can use a four kilogram uh, uh feeder and reel and everything else and catch bream no problem even at oldberg and everywhere else so you start out down there and you start getting excited about oldberg because everybody's like oh well this looks like a really great place to fish. You know, there's a whole ton of different spots that you could fish at, but most of them are carp. Now, granted, there are quite a few spots for bream and everything else, but for the most part, they're just mostly carp spots. So I think what ends up happening is people are like, okay, well, I want to go catch 
I've been catching bream for a while. I want to go catch, you know, some some carp. So they end up realizing that the only thing they're going to be able to fish for with those rods and reels are the same exact gibble and crushing carp that they were catching down at Mosquito Lake. Is this a brown? No, this is a grayling. Nope, it's an eyed. Wow, that's a surprising one. I wasn't expecting that. Friction break. Let's get that up to 22. Uh, so yeah, they end up fishing for the exact same thing that they were fishing at Mosquito Lake. And if you're going to do that, you might as well go back to Mosquito Lake, because at least with Mosquito Lake, you can catch trophies down there. Now, you can catch them over at Olberg, yeah, but you know where the spot is. I showed you where the spot was to catch you know, trophies down at Mosquito Lake. So I think that's what happens, and then people are like, well, I want to fish for other stuff over here at... at, at um, at Olberg, so what can I go for? Well, you can go for grass carp. You can go for tench. Tench is probably a good one. You can still catch, you know, a, a four kilogram tench on a four kilogram rod and reel. That's no problem. You'll just end up fighting it. So maybe they'll try for tench, but then they'll want something bigger like common carp or uh, uh, grass carp. Or maybe they might want to try going for burbots. And at that point, they realize, okay, well, I'm going to need a new rod and new reel. And because everybody tells you to fish with feeder rods do three at a time you know three different rods three different reels then they feel the need to stay at Olberg and possibly get three more re reels three more rods and three more setups and then they end up staying there until like level 22 when you should be already halfway through Cory Lake and I think what is it for Volkov 20 20 at Volkov so yeah, so they should be fishing at Volkov, and where are they at? They're still stuck in Olberg, because they've bottlenecked themselves, knowing that if they purchase those feeder rods, they're not going to really be able to do anything up at Cory Lake, except for fish for bourbon at night, or bream during the day and night. Or they go up to Volkov, and they're like, well, all I can do here is really fish for bourbon at night, and that's it. So they don't really have the gear. So I think a lot of people kind of just bottleneck themselves into fishing up at Oldberg, and I just kind of wanted to show you guys kind of a different way of doing it. I wanted to go with different rods and different reels that I've really been using up until this point. I usually use the Pulsar as a 10, 9 to 10 kilogram you know, reel, and now I'm using this little Sputnik element that so far is working out great. It's no problem whatsoever. Um, I could actually probably go look at maybe another rod. But if I was going to do that, I should have probably just bought the, the, the light spinning pro. And that would have been absolutely fine. Uh, let's see. I think I want to switch out to a Spiker 2. I don't... The One of the hardest things to switch from my, my, my higher level account to this account is the fact that I don't have half of the lures that I have on that account. So I can't just switch out and try a whole bunch of stuff. I'm very limited because I'm trying to save my money because I want to try and make enough money where once I hit level 16, I can go up hopefully straight to Cory Lake and start trolling up there. And it may only be with one rod and one reel, but still it's going to be a lot of fun going up there and trolling, you know, with a brand new account. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, we are getting some very... No bites over here. What is going on, Alaya River? What is going on? It might be a little bit cold. What is the normal... Uh, what is the... 19, 18, 15, 19 degrees. So it's cold right now. Maybe that's why I'm not getting bites. It's kind of funny. When it comes down to like the... The different mechanics of the game sometimes it's cold you get more bites you you know fish will go absolutely nuts and sometimes when it's cold they'll they'll stop biting altogether when you have a very serious high temperature change that's another mechanic that you have to deal with because if you've got a very quick temperature change you know a super low degree at night and a super high degree during the day that will actually literally stop fish from biting altogether i'm getting roaches out here where are where are my browns, man? Where are my browns? I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to try this place that's right behind uh, the... I'm looking for browns and graylings, so I'm going to try this place that's behind this. What do we have over here? This is another problem that I have right here, guys. 
This will not stop. I cannot get these tool tips to stop. I'm so irritated with them. I've tried every single combination to try to get them to stop and I can't. Okay, so here's a good one right here. Look at this, two browns at 500 grams, 63 silver. Yeah, grayling two at 800. Oh, that's a pretty, there you go. we got some pretty good, uh oh, I'm stuck. Uh oh, I gotta go, really? You're gonna make me go around the tent? So yeah, uh, those are some pretty good uh, uh, fish cafe orders right now that I just for some reason oh really I haven't had one of those longest cast records in quite a while as you can see I gotta find where the fish are this is where everybody starts messaging me is like do you know where the fish is about uh, the fish are at Bell Lion it's like you know what guys I haven't been down there for quite a while I don't know there's really only four places that I try and usually those four places will have it or they're not biting so we're gonna wait until it starts warming up a little bit here and hopefully and I'm just, and I also have to figure out the speed too. You know, over there I was catching um, chubs and I was catching roach, which was really surprising. I don't get roach very often on Belaya River. Uh, for some reason, my Spiker 2018 is not working very well. So I'm thinking we'll try the Aquila, see how the Aquila is working. That'll give me a little bit further cast too, I think. Maybe not. I thought I might get oh whoa 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 holy smeg something's taken off like a okay I gotta I gotta fish properly gotta put my pole down gotta put my pole up oh whoa okay and I'm going to drop it down 16 Oh no, did I lose it? Oh, I think I lost it. Yeah, I lost. I've got my I've got my chat off. Holy crap. I bet you that was a big huge asp. I haven't seen anything fight like that or pull that hard. Especially with a four kilogram. It might have also been my my rod that was making it a little bit high on the tension bar, but wow, I haven't seen anything like that pull that hard. It's a good thing I put my friction. You see how, you see how fast I had to put my friction brake down, or it would have snapped it. It was like a pubic hair away from snapping. That was crazy. So it looks like maybe that this little, this little lure, this Aquila four, what is it, the four zero zero four? Yeah, four zero zero four might actually be the one I'm looking for. But that might have been a trophy, something or other. I have no idea. I'm trying to catch a fish just so you guys can see, see me level. And this isn't working out very well because the fish aren't freaking biting today for some reason. That and I don't have a lot of different, um, a lot of different lures. There we go. There we go. Little grayling. This should level us. Get us up to 15. Then all I have to do is get to 16 and hopefully make a ton of money on the way there. Boom, baby. Level 15 grayling. And I have completely and utterly skipped over Olberg. Um, level 15, one more level. That'll get us up to Cory Lake at level 16. That is going to be absolutely awesome. So let's see. Let's see. Let's just figure out what the fish are actually biting on because I'm going to do speed ups for a little bit. Then I'm going to do some, some, some ghost jig steps. For some reason, the speed ups aren't working and I don't know why. Why aren't the speed ups working? There we go. Let's see if I can actually get some fish coming in here. Okay, we've hooked into something. I don't know what it is. To be honest with you guys, the, the fishing is actually a little bit slow today. Um, I'm thinking it's because we've got such a massively huge uh, temperature change. We were at, I, what I was at, 12 degrees, I believe, a minute ago. It looks like this is a nice big grayling, probably 1.2 kilograms, something like that. The reel seems like it's holding up, this nice little brand new reel of ours. Got a nice little grayling coming in. Hopefully this is going to give us... Okay, so there's a two kilogram grayling. That is a nice hit fish right there. That is a nice one. Big experience on that one right there. And just so you guys know, just to let you know, before I left Mosquito, I went through, purchased some more baits and stuff that we might need. I could actually do a little bit of float fishing out here for, uh, for Bleak if I wanted to. But uh, you, many, no, I need those. Uh, let's see. I went out and I bought a sieve. I bought a tea kettle and a shovel. Okay. So just for an update on this account, you guys now know that I have a sieve. 
a tea kettle, and a shovel. And I've actually made some food, a bunch of boiled eggs and stuff like that. I haven't really got a ton into uh, harvesting baits. We're at 23% right there, almost at 25. So sweet dough is next. Um, and then when it comes down to ground bait, pretty much nothing, 1.8%. I've made like two, two, maybe three ground bait total. And you guys saw me actually do that. But for some reason right here, I'm finding that the best way to do this is to go back to my roots, which is do a ghost jig step. And if you guys don't know what a ghost jig step is, is exactly this sitting here doing one rot rotation. I do the rotation at about 16 retrieval speed and then I just sit again and I usually sit longer than you would on a normal jig step and that's what I'm pulling him in on so the first thing I highly suggest if you guys want to try it try Bel Belaya and come out here is do a speed up and slow down now if you don't or not a speed up slow down just a speed up if you guys don't know what that is I'll show you here real quick just if, for you beginners uh, it's a little perchy poo so speed up is real four times one two, three, four, hold down the shift button, one, two, three, four, let go, one, two, three, four, hold down the shift button. Now you can vary how many rotations you do. The first one is usually the only way that I can get it to work is if you do a rotate four rotations and then hit shift. After that, you can do three rotations. And a lot of times you'll get like the asps and the graylings out here that like that. As you can see, there you go. But when it comes down to like browns and graylings as well, they also really like it when you just sit. And this is kind of a trick that a lot of people have found. It's not actually a technique, but it's something that they find that actually works. Some people do like a two rotation and then they'll just sit. There you go. There's a fish right there. I think the Browns like that a lot. I think the Browns also like speed ups every now and then, but but when you're like super slow out here, the ghost jig step is one of the best things that you can, there you go, there's a Brown. The ghost jig steps is one of the best things you can switch over to because it almost always catches a fish, especially if you just leave it open, leave your reel open and just sit out there and then close it with half a reel and then start doing your ghost jig step and just letting it, sit for a lot longer than you normally would and i find that this actually when the spinner is dropping that's when they actually really like to hit it out here so far we're not actually doing too bad god that stupid tips this is what we've got so far it's not probably not a lot of money to be honest with you um but I think because we went from like 12 degrees all the way up to freaking 18 degrees, that is a huge temperature change. So this is going to cause us a lower bite rate because of that huge temperature change. It is a mechanic in the game, and it's just something you kind of have to just deal with, unfortunately. There you go. There's another one. What do we got here? Is this a brownie? I like to see the browns come in. I really do. You can tell because they look like torpedoes. Nope, another asp. I'm surprised these asp aren't bigger. Usually if I want bigger asp, I'll switch over to uh, like the Aquila. I'll switch over to this darker Aquila and this will usually pull in a nice big asp. The problem with the asps is they fight like absolute freaking monsters. Oh my gosh. They fight like monsters and they will do more damage to your reel than anything else here. Plain and simple, unless you get into a Taman, which is very not likely. But let's see how the reel is actually holding up. Go ahead and hit V. So, so far, it looks like my guide, my line guides need to be repaired pretty soon here. Friction break 0.1%. And you saw that original fish that took off like a bat out of hell. It only went down 0.1%. So there is a thing, there is something to be said about buying a reel that is higher quality stars. Because I do believe they are more durable. So, yeah. Xander? Really? I didn't even know they had Xander here on Balaya River. What? 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 Huh? No. No. Uh, what? Uh, records and ratings. God, man. I cannot stop this from getting... from go It needs to go down. Stop. Just... Devs, please fix this bug. Doesn't matter what I do, I can't get that thing to stop. So Belay River, 
Oh, you can get a lot of fish on here. You can get common carp. I didn't realize that they had Xander on here. I didn't know they had Nace either. Sterlet I knew. Taman I knew. Holy crap. Freaking Xander out here? You gotta be kidding me. Um, I broke down and I wanted to see if maybe during the night something would happen. Uh, so I went ahead and I spent 58 silver which is about 10 more than I needed to spend because they didn't want to leave. Um, and I bought a Zeman Spiker 216. So far, I haven't had really any luck. Now, to be honest with you guys, most content creators might actually scrap this video as of right now, but I'm not going to do that because the fact of the matter is, is you guys need to see as beginners that everybody has their off days. Everybody has their off times. Our temperature has dropped down to nine degrees, which is even colder than it was yesterday um, on the game. And that's going to cause even more. There's a nice little brown. Look at that. It's going to cause even more of a lull in bite rate with that high of a of a temperature change that can definitely cause a very low bite rate. So I just kind of wanted you guys to see that, you know what, hey, everybody goes through their lulls. Am I going to leave here and go to Oberk? No, I'm not. I'm going to stay at Belaya because that's the whole point of this video is basically me skipping over Belaya or skipping over um, Oberg and staying at Belaya. Is that, did I just hear, yep, today's going to, today's going to rain. This is good. You know, I'm going to tell you why this is good. Because Belaya River fish like rain. Surprisingly enough, they actually like rain. So I'm going to stick with this for a little bit. But what I want to do is I think this is kind of right around the time that we started fishing before. I think what's right now, what the best thing that I'm catching on right now during this lull time is the Aquila 4004. This one's been the best. So as of right now, for an hour of of fishing, this isn't going to be great. Period. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know blow smoke up your guys' butts and say hey you know it's great all the time here. I just want you guys to know that even some of the some of the best fishermen, which is not me obviously, have lulls. So total by weight two two kilogram grayling was the highest um the xander i cannot believe the xander here so far we've only made 57 silver now this is very 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 low for me here usually i'm making around 150 to 200 an hour it's very low however i can raise that considerably if i was to able to get another two another 800 plus kilogram uh gram grayling i would be able to add 71 on top of that so that would help considerably if i got two 500 Graham brown trout that would be great too but i mean that's just hopeful thinking to be honest with you brown trout just are that's why i like fishing belaya river so much brown trout are very skittish they're very they're very hard to catch and when you catch them you feel kind of a sense of accomplishment so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually wait till it starts raining and see if it picks up if it does i'll be right back Okay, uh, it started to rain, and I think it's starting to pick up a little bit. Surprisingly enough, oh, baby. Ooh. Okay, we get another one of those, and we've got another 60 silver. Surprisingly, they're biting on the black spiker, 2016. And I've noticed that, look at this. As soon as it started raining, man, it started picking up like crazy. So far, I'm at four fish since the last time that we actually came back. Or, yeah, came back and I and I talked to you guys. And those were just one after another. And I've noticed if I moved a little bit to the right on my casting, uh, so to the right of that log right there, and I just, look at that. Look at that. As soon as it hits the water, I get a bite. I told you guys, man, it's the rain. They, re they really like it out here. I don't know why. But they really like it out here. Oh, we got something that's actually got a little bit of strength behind it. Maybe a little bit of fatty weight. Let's give ourselves a little bit of, of leeway here. 
little bit of safety by putting the rod down like that and just putting it up in the air. This, a lot of people don't realize, but this actually helps considerably when it comes down to how much pressure it's putting on your rod and your reel. So what do we got here? All right, so we got a 700 kilogram uh, ide, which honestly, I very rarely see um, cafe orders for ides out here. So that's really not gonna do too much for us. But like I said before, the rain has definitely allowed it to start picking up. And the nice thing is, is I went out and I purchased this black spiker thinking to myself, well, you know, up on Tungusta, that's what they're they're catching the browns on. So maybe it, it'll start working here. And so far, it's actually been working at this location here. Right now, I'm actually at this, this southern location right here, just fishing right out here. And it's been working actually pretty nicely. If I can get myself another 500 plus um, or 800 plus, what is it called? Grayling and a fi another 500 plus brown then i can turn those cafe orders in and that would be actually act absolutely fantastic i can't talk i had to cough so if you just saw a skip <laughs> a jump or a cut in the the video i had to cough i'm sorry it happens i'm just human okay as you can see by my horrible fishing today but as you can see the browns are really starting to pick up now that it started raining and i'm actually loving this so I'm going to go for a little bit longer, see if I can maybe hopefully hook into another brown. But as of right now, we're at a little bit over an hour. We're at 37 fish. We're at probably about 50, maybe 60 silver. And if I can pull in another grayling that's over 800 grams or oh, 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 another brown that's over 500, then we could definitely get a little bit more money. But as you can see, definitely a possibility of skipping over Oldberg absolutely completely what is this a little chubby what do we have here i have decided to come all the way to the end to the northern end every now and then i'll try this spot what do we have here is this over 500 it is ladies and gentlemen brown trout cafe order finished i was thinking that i wasn't going to be able to finish any one of these cafe orders all i would need to do is stay a little bit longer and i could probably get another 500 or 800 more kilogram or gram i said kilograms i meant gram look at that bird up there he's not even flapping his wings that's some weird stuff uh okay so uh, it's probably an airplane now that i think about it so uh, devs fix that freaking bug two brown trout fix that bug devs 63 sell okay and then fish market oh fix that bug devs and then another 56 okay so over 110 silver uh it is a very very slow day today unfortunately and i was hoping it wouldn't be because let's face it non-exciting videos suck I'm going to keep the fish I've got. I'm going to keep fishing. I'm going to try and get another um, grayling over 800. That'll add another 71 silver. You never know when you're going to get it. You might just get it pretty soon here. Uh, but honestly, it was a super slow day today. I will not, I will not, you know, I will not deny that at all. How many did we get over here? One, two, three, four. So we need six of those, couple more perch, and we'd be okay. But super slow day today for low levels. We didn't even get a full quarter level, but we did get, you know, 100 and something silver, so that's not too bad. Made up about half of the cost of this reel. The reel has turned out to be fantastic. It's worked great. 0.2% on all of that fighting that you just seen me do. Uh, the reel worked out really, really well. So the Express Fishing Corona, uh, new, how do I get out of here? The Express, uh, the Sputnik Element 2000 worked great. I had a feeling that it would. Um, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. I appreciate it. Keep gaming. Keep doing it, man. I have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And bye-bye.